Hello everybody and welcome to Lost Souls. Well, I've just started the game and as you can see I have a visitor. In fact, it's a magical ember. So I'm going to see if I can actually survive this thing. You probably can't. Let's have a go. As you can see, a magical ember is definitely attacking me. Let's get this spike out here. Let's get the spike out and the sword and let's see if we can keep out of his way. Yeah, perfect. Phew. Well, that doesn't happen every day, does it? So, hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Lost Souls. So, in this episode, we are going to do right and do a few more quests. So let's get on and do those to start with. I've been preparing stuff because it's been the weekend, as normal, as happens over the weekend. And I don't have anything there that I want to use except for perhaps the cold coke so let's have a look at the quest the first thing i'd like to make is actually oh yes i've been doing some tidying up that was a a tip given to me by um creator aid to build some small storage crates dead easy once now we've got the wood it's no big deal we've got plenty of sidings i've made loads of oak sidings over the the weekend well plenty i made a few so what i'd like to make is a door to start with and I'm going to spruce door. The reason the spruce door is because you can't see through it. I'm also want to make some trap doors too for that matter. Let's make a trap door. I don't know what I've got on here. Oh, it was this one. Small storage crate. There's basically chests around planks and there's with this one in the middle, which is basically a piece of wood with some sidings around it, and that'll give us just a wood casing. So that's fairly straightforward. I would like to make some diamond spikes then I was going I wonder if we can make these or whether it's difficult and it's not too bad just to treat a stick and some diamonds so let's do that because that actually completes a quest and I've got a reasonable amount of diamonds at the moment so we need a block of diamonds <laughs> I think I've got a bit of lag And we see need some diamond swords. We need three of those. And we need some treated sticks. And then we should be able to make the spikes just like that. Uses quite a lot of diamonds, but oh, it's just, but we actually have completed the quest diamond spikes. So I'm actually going to use those diamond spikes. You'll notice that the gold spikes are pretty useful. Let's put one down. So the embers are great. It gets rid of all the embers. And I have one here as well. So what I want to do is I want to replace this this one. If you look on the map, you'll see some em on the mini map. There's something coming underneath me. There we go. Oops, shit. Better get out of the way. Get in here if we can. And hopefully that thing's going to go away. Oh, it's opened the door and this thing will kill me in one go if I can't get out of its way <laughs> oh gosh I get fed up with embers I can tell you that for nothing there he is and I've got nothing else on me at the moment except for that gold spikes let's put those down on oh yes it might get stuck in there hmm okay let's pick up these diamond spikes while I'm busy Oops. Diamond spikes. Well, I'm busy doing that. That's what I did there. I think I pressed the wrong button. As you can see, that thing is flying around like crazy in there. Let's get the diamond spikes into my hand here and hopefully. Ah, can't do it. Somehow or other, I've got to get rid of that one. That's going to be a bit more fun. I don't really want to start an episode doing these type of things, do I, really, when it comes down to it? Let's put the spike down here. Oops. Go out. Ah, yeah, as I said, one hit from that thing and you die. So I just wait to respawn again. Seems to be quite slow, by the way. All right. But at least I'm invisible now, so I can go and get me a chest. Oh, uh, yes, let's just pick up a pickaxe if I've got one in hand. Um, tools, I'll keep them in here at the moment. Oh, 
Ah, it's gone. Interesting. I wonder where that's gone to. Oh, it seems to have got killed. Oh, something got killed because there's lots of XP sitting there. Let's get this these two set up here now. Well, so much excitement for one episode already. <laughs> one magical ember, one of those purple ones, which are even worse. That, that'll do. Um, that's a pretty good defense against... Um, what are they called? Those blazing juggernauts. Because the blazing juggernauts are a right pain. Because they, cause they dance. And once they dance, they get caught on these. Which they should get killed. With, and they give some player drops, which is also good. And you'll see here... Oh. oh I've forgotten about that. Must have got left some stuff in there. I did. <laughs> oh, well, that's alright. I don't mind that. What I did here is I put on the... Uh, some redstone and the redstone torch beside that. So when that redstone torch is on, this is then active. So when it's windy, it sends out a redstone signal. And I did test it and it does work. Because over the weekend it was got some redstone signals on it. And there we go, some more embers dropping down. I think these ones over here are actually quite good. They catch the they catch the embers a lot too when they're flying over here. As you can see, this already got some stuff over here. Got some enchanted leggings. I can go and get those. I've got those. Yes, I have. And anything else around there, like this. I think magna, magnets do it as well. They sort of get caught on those spikes as well and sorts them out. And this thing, that's actually got a reasonable amount of XP and it's actually showing up on the levels now. That's good. And I hit my head on that spike. So let's go in here and get some more of this string. See, I want to put a trapdoor down here so that the I can get through there. Haha. <laughs> like that. Okay, we'll have to go and do take the risk. Well that pickaxe is too far too fast for doing this sort of stuff. Have a good look around. And I've only got one piece that's uh, actually not so good from all those breakages. Oh, I've got some more down here. Look, pick up stuff as well. If I can get into the hole, that is. And I think that'll probably be about it now. Is it finished? Uh, two more to go. Right, let's see if I can put some bits and pieces. Oh, I've got 21, that's fine. I was going to say, I thought it was too little for one piece. You're normally getting more than actually, when you break them, you're getting actually more than you started with, which is actually not too bad. So much excitement. It's been a bit of a... <laughs> right, that's finished now. So let's just turn this off here. So that's not grinding those anymore. Which is also good for noise. So that can happily swing around and rotate those, no problem. Right, so Diamond Spikes was done, wasn't it? So let's have a look at those quests again. What I want to do is I would like to get on and do some... Uh, the Blast Furnace and the Tinker's, Con Tinker's Smeltery, they would be a good start. I could do this one, a Diamond Builder's one, perhaps. In fact, I think it's Extra Editions. Here we go, and we get our loot chest. And I think I said I upgraded, didn't I? Let's have a look. Oh, God, I've got too much stuff on me already. Let's put these away in this storage crate here. And I want to put this door. Oh, I know I'm going to put the door. I was going to put the door down here so we can get a way of getting out through here with reasonable safety and seeing where we're going. So let's put the door down here first of all. Oh, again. So I can do this before that thing comes. Oh, wrong one. Is that a biggish one? Yes, it's a biggish one. Well, well, I'm stuck now for the time being. I'll have to wait for it to go away or to kill it. And I'm not going to kill it because that increases the um, difficulty. So we shall wait and see. I also planted some spruce trees down there. 
Oh, I know I created a spruce tree as well in there. Probably got some stuff over here. We can click. Oops. I forget about those. Gosh, you get stuck on them too. They're quite painful. Shouldn't be using that pickaxe for doing this. And these have actually grown. The hemp industrial hemp has actually grown now, so we can actually chop this down. No tool. Okay, axe. And carrots. They're growing nicely. And potatoes, I think, are growing nicely too. And I did some flowers as well. Some bone mealing this dirt down here. I'm going to make more dirt because I need another colour, I think. Dude, this is already filled up. And my inventory is also full. Let's go back inside. And get, I can get the rice, but of course I can't pick up the rice because I've got my inventory is completely full. Right. Oh, there's something purple in purple over there. I didn't like the look at that. Let's just put down one of these here like that. And that should prevent prevent that. In fact, I was going to put in a sticky piston here and just bring it down, coming down the other way. But I probably think a door might be better. Well, let's get rid of this one. Oh, I could upgrade these as well. Something else I managed to do over the weekend. So I actually added a an upgrade until I got the levels to, to do that, which is also good. Ah, yes, that reminds me. This has now changed. If you haven't noticed, this is actually doing it. It's going very, very slowly. And if you look at the fluids, it's like one millibucket per second now, which is, uh, can I say, extremely slow. Oh, I died, didn't I? Let's put this on there. Right, I'll have to quickly eat that and then get our health back up again and then we can put some of this stuff away. Unfortunately, I have to do it. Hemp seeds, I think I'm not keeping in here. But these ones I am. Right, I think the rest of the stuff is in this chest over here. See, what is that? Oh, it's um, a magma. Let's put those in there. And I think we put everything else into this little crate. I created some crates as well. And the crates are actually quite a great. What else have we got in here? Lots of spikes, as you may notice. Good weapon. Or defensive weapon, anyway. Clay. That's right. Oh, and the chest loot chest. I've got enough space now to do the loot chest, haven't I? Let's open this loot chest. I hope it's decent. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> no. These loot chests recently have been dreadful. Just as bad as they were before, I think, in the Forever Stranded. Now they've gone really dreadful here. Just to get some good rewards at the beginning. Right. Okay. Too many distractions. I do apologise. Let's put these into here as well. So what I'd like to do is to tink... Ah, oh, the brick oven, that's right, yes. So we need clay for that. And we need sand, I think. Let me just have a look. Um, as that was a quest. I haven't got any in the F4. Done that one. Um, I need probably need to make the resonator as well. But let's start with... It must be immersive tech. The next one that we can do that makes sense is this one, steel, a blast brick. So we need 27 blast, blast bricks. I wonder if we can do those. That'll be this one. So that we can do, because that's just bricks and icy or lively nether bricks. Now, lively nether bricks are actually a very easy one to do. It's that one. Just take that lively netherite and just smelt it. I think I prepared that already, actually, because I was getting involved with that. But I want to remember which chest to put them in, of course. <laughs> uh. All right, there's all, there's the ordinary bricks, and there's the lively nether bricks, and then we need nine blazes. Well, we've got blaze powders coming out of our ears, so to speak. So we can actually do that quest. Let's do that. And that should give me exactly 27. Fantastic. And I've still got 13 of these things on me here. Let's put those into there like that. Ah, oh, and I've probably got to make some steel, haven't I? Let's have a look at that quest. Yeah, it's a two-part quest. 
And we've got to produce one steel ingot. And we get a loot chest, which hopefully is not going to be too bad. So let's go and do that. Has that blazing blade, a purple blaze gone away or not? I don't know. And I also need to move my stuff about a bit. Let's put it around like this. I think it's probably a good a good pattern. No, he's still there. It is a it is a magnet, yes, exactly. And it's a big one. What I can do, of course, is take one of these spikes now and put the spike down here. And maybe that'll be a good place for it. Oops, what's attacking me? An ember. Uh oh. What happened there? Oh, of course that's the that's that magical blaze that's over there, isn't it? Um Ember, I mean. Uh, magma. Go away. So if I just bring him over here, like that, he should stand up jumping on that spike, which he is doing. And he stays on that spike, he'll just start to soon die. What's how much he's going down by? Rave the raging la lava slime the raid. Slime the raiden. <laughs> so it's gone down. You can see his health now. That's 31. 29, 28. I just have to wait here basically until he disappears. While he's, while he's deciding to die, let's just um, do this. Get rid of my death marker. Oh, is he down now? Oh, he's coming down. He's actually into a, into a single row. And of course, the little ones will spawn after that. So we put this diamond spike here, the little one's going to spawn and jump through that hole and then die on that one. Four hearts to go. One more, that should be him done, I hope. Half a heart, there we go. Do you know, as far as I can see, he's dead. <laughs> Doesn't look very dead to me. Does he look very dead to you? What did he drop? An enchanted axe. I can see that. Do what we'll do. Let's break this one through here. Like that. Ah, of course, I broke that thing through there as well. Um, I'm just concentrating a little bit here. Let's just put this. There. <laughs> that didn't work as I wanted it to do. I'm spending far too much time in this danger zone. I don't like being in this danger zone at all. There's my gold spike. Let's try that. Putting this gold spike down. Here. They're not big enough. Can they not get through there? Okay, let's try. I'll have to remove this diamond spike and try putting another spike behind it. And I want to do this before they despawn, don't I? Tell you what I'll do. Break this one. Put that spike down there. There we go. Now I just have to be very paid. Oh, there's another one of these purple. Oh, okay, that one did die this time. That was good. Gave me loads of XP, which is also good. I just need to move him into space like that. There you go. <laughs> and you get these crazed ones. If you notice those crazed ones, they tend to do that as well. Good. Right, I've probably got a load of stuff from this lot now. Let's just go and pick it up because I can see it. Something that's actually rather useful. One of those, oh, two molten hearts, how about, and two gold, red hearts, fantastic, look at that lot. Let me just put these back again. Oh, wow. Because what I wanted to do here was to put a door in, didn't I? So let's do the door as well. Wow, having to repair my bases to put down a door, incredible, isn't it? Let's 
to the door here and let's put this, put this piece back into here like that now we should be able to get through this door great fantastic wow and all i wanted to do is to put down a blast furnace to start getting some oh, i've done that again haven't i tell you what i need to go and get an iron and i want to go and get the coke coal coke is in here i noticed actually while i'm here let's take these two and put those on ourselves and then we can <coughs> i've got a full full head of health now so we've got to different color so what do I want a piece of iron to untie let's take let's take half of, let's take 32 that will be enough I think we'll probably need quite a lot of steel and I know it's a slow process and I can't get through the door let's just eat while we're here oh an enderman oh, we'll go this way around because I did prepare the space for this as well so let's just put the blast bricks down here I wanted it to be three back through, so one, two, three, like this. Okay, I might have to go back. I oh, know I'll probably be all right here. I might have to do the door again, but it doesn't matter much, does it? And I've forgotten the hammer, of course, as usual. Let's go up here. Missed. I have to go back and get this piece here. <laughs> well, I'm laughing because that thing is just too powerful. Now, did I bring the engineer's hammer with me? Is it in my bag even? Let's have a look. No, it's not. I have to go back and get it. Now, I think with a bit of luck, we'll put it in here. Oh, look, I have forgot that. What did I... There was a magical tool I saw dropped down. I didn't seem to have picked it up. Let me go and quickly check that. Because I'm sure that Magna dropped an axe. Well, if he has, it's not here, is it? So... Right, so let's finish this off now. Right, click the middle one. Has reached the goal. Really hot topic. Okay, so I've got hot topic now. So let's put in these two into there and let it cook. So when that's cooked, we'll have got that piece. I don't know why this one came in that direction, not that it makes any difference whatsoever. Take those two out. The only, I think, the only use I've got for coal coke is to put it in there anyway. So let's do that. Wow. So the next thing, I should not go get some more clay. I think we need quite a lot of clay for the grout here. You see, and this will this will fill up. Okay, yeah, that's going to fill up very, very slowly, but it will fill up. So now I've got eight pieces of clay, so we can um, do the next quest that I would like to do. A window. So that'll be tinkering. So we need to make some grout. Just one piece of grout and we'll get the loop chest. Let's make some grout. We've done that one. What do we need for that? So we need gravel, soul sand or sand, and porcelain clay. And that'll give me one grout. Okay, porcelain clay is very easy. I should have got some those I have. Let's go and put those there. That'll give me five pieces of that. Gravel and sand we should have tons of. Um, do we need five of those? Sand I've got lots of, well, I've got plenty in there, not, not nowhere near as enough. And I'll leave the soul sand because I'll make some more if I need to. 
and gravel I think I've moved into still got into this chest ah yes this crate ah yes I moved this as well because I thought that was getting in the way so let's just see what gravel I've got in here none <laughs> where have I put the gravel some more sidings and wood bits in there and some bark oh did I use all the gravel up I don't think I did but I might have done Alright, I have to make some more gravel. That won't take too long. But while I'm doing that, let's just finish these off here. Make these porcelain ones. Oh, I've got my hammer here, good. That's my compressed hammer. Let's put that in there like that. We can then leave that in there, I think. Probably a good place. That'll give me 27. Let's do those. That should be probably enough, actually, to do at least to finish this quest off and any more I'll need to just do it in my own time afterwards so. so what do we need now? Grout so I can do three grout which isn't going to be anywhere near enough but that should complete the quest so let's have a look uh, and get that reward item reward claim done so then that opens up this one here, a smell tree. And I think we've got to make a lot more of these, which I can do quite happily. Well, at least to make the grout off camera, so it's not a big deal, is it? I should have really prepared some more of that, but I haven't done. And I think we just have to smelt these, the grout now to make bricks. I don't, oh, I can't do that. Let's have a look at the uses of that. <laughs> ah, okay, I have to do it in the smell tree. Uh, but I guess then in that case I can do it in here. Oh yes, I was going to make a, a mattock. So I've prepared everything in here. It's got two ingots of gold in here. Let's put these three of those in there. And let's get this made as well. This is basically, um, I want to make a mattock. I'm not sure what I'm going to make the mattock out of, but we'll, we'll, put it, we'll do something with it. Let's have a look. Put this up here. Because I prepared the axe head as well. So I've got the axe head and the shovel for the mattock, so we can do that one. So what do we need to do here? I think I need. Right, right I'm waiting for the remote backup. So then we should be able to just do this. What I was going to do in here was try another experiment. So actually, since this is. Oops, sorry, wrong button. Since this is not working very well. Let's pick up this porcelain gauge. Now the porcelain gauges are really good for us as a tank. So I can put this porcelain gauge where can I put it? Let's put it here for the time being because I want to get rid of the water in it. So I need another um, I think they're in here. No, I'll move them. Where have I put them to? I think that's empty. I need another transfer node, fluid transfer node. Let's have a look at that. And I've completely forgotten where I've put those. Ah, they're probably in this chest over here. That's where I moved all the bits and pieces to. And they're not in there, are they? Are they? I need a better sorting system. Or a better memory. They won't be in there. That's food. And they won't be in there because that's some bits. And they won't be in there because it's the trees. And I'll put I'll create another hopper and put a rubber tree on it. So I've got some rubber leaves coming in here as well as ordinary and some rubber saplings. Saplings and some rubber wood. Is that rubber wood or is that spruce? Yeah, uh, jungle wood, yes. Um <clears throat> that crate's empty. I did a few crates around, so that's that one. So where have I put those bits and pieces? It's not in my bag, is it? No. Oh, here we go. Phew, I was, thought I was going a bit crazy. I just need one of each, really, don't I? And I'm not sure I can actually reach, unfortunately, so that's a bit of a pain. Um, can I break this bit here? I know, I'll do it, the other, I'll do it a different way. Break this and put it one higher. Because I only took one piece of pipe. 
Well, I can't put it on there, can I? I can put it up here, look. Oh, that won't, oh, that won't attach to that. Okay. That's a nuisance. I have to do that differently. It's actually not impossible to do this. I was thinking it's difficult, but it's actually dead easy. All I needed to do is get a faucet. That'll be finished. Let's take that out of there and click that again. So we have our first seared brick. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to put the seared brick in this. No, I'm going to put the seared brick in this one for the time because my inventory is so full. I've got, I, I've got two faucets here. So I knew I'd got a second one. I made a second one. Oops. Just put, <laughs> just put the wrong block. You didn't see that, did you? No. All right, good. Right, okay. So what we can do here is to put a faucet on, and I think we can just put the faucet on this tank here like that. <laughs> do you know, it's not working. Why not? It's probably this block here. Has it got some chisel bits blocks in it? Or am I too close? Oh, no, I can do it. And it should work and it's not working great maybe because it's full so let's get some more dust see if we can make some more clay and there we go so that'll fill this up and hopefully it's going to fill it all up for us what's it doing that's full <laughs> good so that'll slowly fill up now great the reason for this what i'm trying to achieve let's take this off here like this, is the only way i can think of getting obsidian is to use um let's do, the, let's do this one out of here and do this one oh oh i'm getting a lot more than that okay great i'm getting one block it's to use blood now to make blood we need 25 rotting flesh i've got 28 in the end i managed to i'll put that there i'm trying to remember where i put them so let's put in three back that's going to be a bit of a faff to fill these in but well i don't know whether i can actually hopper those into this it might be good if i could i presume i can do it like this oops wrong one <laughs> Oh, I love full inventories, don't you? I should really put a hopper underneath here and, then I sh and it could take everything out and put it all through. See, they don't melt because it, it would, it's not going to cause any difficulty until it's actually empty, this thing. Actually, that'll give me 12. It's almost, you know, it's almost enough to do this. Let's get rid of some of these bits and pieces while I'm here, because this is going to take a while. And I need to sort out my inventory, because I've got three of these, which is actually quite good. I've also got 12 zomb zombie pigmen ones, which is even better. What's that? Oh, three. three. Is there anything else I can get rid of in here? Yes, this one. Let's get this going again. Oops, done it again. Exactly what I didn't want to do. I double clicked it. Right, try again. So this time you see it went straight away into blood. So we can then put some more blood in here. It's 25 and it should make a bucket. 120 millili millibuckets there. So what did we get? We got 9, 10. Oh. We got 10. From three ground. How does that work? So what I'm gonna do with these, and that's what that was the purpose of this second faucet. And the tank. Where is the faucet gone? Where's the faucet gone to? 
<laughs> there. Because what I want to do is get a bucket of blood. And I don't know whether it's going to work. This is something I'm just trying out first time. Sixteen, thirteen. Oh, yeah, it means twelve, doesn't it? You can right-click this into there, and it'll go into that. And buckets, I have got two on me, and I'm hoping I can fill up fill up a bucket of blood. So let's just see if this actually works, because it would be a good way of getting it. Ah, oh, twenty-five doesn't go in by three, does it? So that's fair enough. What's it got in here now? Unfortunately, it goes fairly quickly. In fact, it probably be better if I stood like this, wouldn't it? Get it done really fast. Because the worst that happens with this lot, if it doesn't work, all they end up is they end up with some food. There we go. So that should now have one bucket's worth of blood in it, which it has, fantastic. So what I'm hoping for is I can put this into here like that. <laughs> Didn't work. Never mind. <laughs> it was a try. I wanted to put it on top of here to, and it just disappeared. Ah. Okay, never mind. Can I put that into this? Yes, I can, good. Right. So that's what I was trying to do. So I don't know how to make obsidian except for using the Ignis Extruder, which is going to be a bit expensive, unless I could have poured the blood out on some stuff. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at my armor situation. I've lost my helmet, and I've just noticed I've got one here. Not going to give me much strength protection, but it'll give me... Oh, respiration three and breaking three. Okay, I don't need that. Well, so... Uh-oh. Oh, whew, zombie pigment. How did he get in here? Oh, I didn't put my spike down. <laughs> I don't like that very much, I will be honest with you. I'll put my spike back here. I've done 37 minutes. Oops. So, <laughs> until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.